Hi, this is Jerry Jenkins. I'm on Windows 11, uh, and this is the Insider Preview because it's about to be released next month. And we're going to show you how to install WSL, which is the Windows subsystem for Linux, onto Windows 11. And they've uh, made it a lot simpler than the previous Windows 10 version. And then we're going to, uh, it automatically installs Ubuntu as well. And then uh, we'll set it up and we'll show you how to update Ubuntu for Linux and uh, how to install a little command line. Now it, uh, Linux on Windows still primarily just runs from the command line, so it's what's called a, a Ubuntu server, not a, not a desktop system. But it will run GUIs, although I have had some problems with GUIs hanging on me. So we'll start, we uh, want to run either Windows Terminal, PowerShell, or a Command Prompt. So I'm going to run Command Prompt. And we have to run it as Administrator. So we'll run as Administrator. And then to install the WSL system, you just type WSL space uh, dash dash install. And we wait for this to be done. Now it says you have to reboot, so we're going to go ahead and do that and we'll come back to you. Now you'll see that uh, you just wait for it and you'll get a window which will show you it's downloading Ubuntu. So now it's going through the process of finishing the uh, installed WSL system which now comes with Ubuntu. So this is going to take a little while, so uh, I'll speed it up for you. Okay, so because it's the first time we've installed uh, Ubuntu, it wants you to make up a username and password, and this is related to just when you inst when you want to log in into the Linux uh, uh, distro, which is Ubuntu. So we're going to use our uh, name and make up our password. And now we're basically in Ubuntu. So we can go ahead and close it and if you want to reopen uh, Ubuntu it's a normal app now so we can just uh, search here and search for Ubuntu and we'll see it right here so it starts up and there we go so to run as administrator uh, you have to use a sudo command sudo command uh, and so the first thing we want to do is update Ubuntu. You always do this after you've installed a new distro so it gets the latest software for the Linux side of things. So you say sudo um, apt update. So the first thing, this doesn't actually up do the update, this checks for updates and it makes sure that it syncs up with what's online to what's in the system here. And you put in your password this takes a little time, but it's pretty fast. And it's going to tell you that it needs to install a lot of packages usually. So it says there's 237 packages. So this is typical when you first install it and you do an update. Uh, it's because the uh, Ubuntu that's with the WSL system is quite a ways behind where Ubuntu is uh, in real time that you can update from. So to actually do the updates, we do this command, sudo, and we're going to do app, and we're going to do upgrade. And this will install all the packages. Say yes. Okay, there we go. So we've done all the updates. Uh, now we're to install a program, you basically go through the two steps I just showed you, uh, unless you've just done it. And that's the uh, um, update and upgrade. And then once you've done that, then you can install a new program. So to install a new program, let's install NeoFetch. And you say install and the name of the program.
Okay, NeoFetch is a nice program. So now to run it, you just do NeoFetch. And this program tells you information about your system. Uh, but that's about it. You're now running Linux. You can start it up anytime by going to Ubuntu.